is a family movie about a mentally challenged father and his cute young daughter. Although the father has the intelligence of a 7-year-old, he loves his daughter and sacrifices everything for her. The film is a heartwarming comedy and a family melodrama about a mentally challenged man wrongfully imprisoned for murder, who builds friendships with the hardened criminals in his cell, and in return, they help him see his daughter again by smuggling her into the prison. Lee Yong-gu is a mentally ill father who lives with his daughter, Yesu. The beginning of school of Yesu was near, so her father decided to buy a Sailor Moon bag for her. But they can't afford it yet, so they visit the store every day to make sure that it was still there. But one day, the only bag was sold to the daughter of head chief commissioner. They went home sad and disappointed. When Lee Yong-gu was working in a parking lot, the little girl who owns the bag tempted to follow her. They went to a market and the little girl died accidentally because of sleeping in the ice and of brain injury because of the brick that fell into her head. Lee Yong-gu performed CPR to revive the girl but the passerby misunderstood it and thought that he raped and murdered her. So he went to prison and her daughter left alone. One of the virtues that I learned after watching the movie is compassion. It is from the scene where all the inmates planned and tried to make Lee Yong-gu escape the prison. They all work hard to build a parachute just for Lee Yong-gu and Ye Sung to experience happiness. They block the officers and accept no matter consequences they are going to face. They put first the state of Lee Yong-gu rather than theirs. Second is forgiveness. In the last scene where Ye Sung was giving her testimonies to the judge, she included that she was forgiving her father for choosing death over with her. She knew that he did it for her sake and her safety. Third is kindness. Lee Yung-gu helped the chief warren where, when there was a fire in the prison. He saved his life even though it was impossible to survive. Other scene was when Lee Yung-gu also saved one of his inmates for being stabbed by a sharp toothbrush. He pushed his inmate and he is the one that got pierced. Based on the movie, human nature is both good and bad. All things have opposites. Human nature is good because all the inmates, including the police officers, helped Lee Yung gu to prove that he was innocent. They all have sacrifices in their own way. Human nature is bad because of the character portraying by the father of the little girl. He uses his power to make things happen the way that he wants, even though it is not right. I believe that human nature is good. I agree with Confucius. He stated that man can be essentially good. He can be trustworthy, honest, and humane towards others. Goodness will lead us to prosperity. According to Thomas Hobbes, man for a man is a wolf. It only means that he believes that human nature is bad. All man is your enemy. The good human nature showed by the inmates through helping Lee Yong Gu and Ye Sung to be together. The bad human nature showed by the father of the little girl that died. He overused his power and threatened Lee Yong Gu to accept his death for the replacement of his daughter. The insight that I learned after watching the movie is, I can't live by myself. No matter how crucial your situation is, God will give you people who will save and help you to conquer all your problems. They are destined people, not only your family but also your friends that will guide you to succeed. Just remember that you are not alone. There is always someone that is concerned in thinking about you. You just have to wait and trust God's plan. I rate this movie 5 out of 5. I learned a lot from this movie. I cried, laughed, and feel mixed emotion at the same time. It is recommendable for all ages. I love this movie. It is one of the best.